In this problem, we're asked to simplify this expression. This expression has uh, exponents all over the place in it, and so most of the work is going to be dealing with these exponents and understanding what they mean. Um, the uh, rules involving exponents, or at least some of them, have been listed over here on the side, so we can refer to them as we need them. Um, there's more than one approach one could take to this problem. The order of operations, given that we're doing multiplication and division in here, um, the order of operation could be reworked in a number of different ways. So I'm going to take one particular path through this problem, but um, I don't want you to take that to mean that it's the only approach to this problem. It's just one. I will begin by um, taking care of these parentheses in the denominator. I've got a product in here that's raised to an exponent, and we can distribute that exponent across the product by placing that same exponent on each term in the product. doesn't matter how many terms are in your product, that exponent goes on each one of them. So this 2, this x to the minus 5, and the y will all pick up an exponent of negative 3. And I go through that in detail just to point out mainly that this is different in the numerator. This negative 3 is an exponent on the x. It is not an exponent on the 4. If it was intended to be an exponent on the 4, there would be more parentheses here. So when we modify this expression um, to rewrite the x involved term without a negative exponent, it will not affect the 4. The 4 is uh, standing alone from the x to the minus 3. So it's important to notice that. I will begin by taking care of the exponent in the denominator, the negative 3 exponent, and distributing it through the x to the uh, product here. So I'll have a 2 to the minus 3, an x to the minus 5 to the minus 3, and uh, y to the minus 3. The next thing I'll do is take care of this uh, parenthesis inside here. I've got an x to the minus 5 to the minus 3. So I've got two exponents on my x, x to the a to the b, and the result of that is the product of the exponents. Um, so I can rewrite this expression now with leaving everything else alone for now. The exponent on that x will be the product of minus 5 and minus 3, which is 15, positive 15, and I've got a y to the minus 3. All right. Now I'll take care of all of the other exponents here, and the exponents that are negative are the ones I want to rewrite. x to the minus 3 can be rewritten as uh, division by x to the third. So I could either write this x to the minus 3 as a 1 over x cubed in the numerator, or I could multiply numerator and denominator through by x to the third, and that will eliminate the x's in the numerator. And again, it'll give me uh, no, po no negative exponents that are due to this term. So in the numerator, I will be getting a f just the 4. In the denominator, I will pick up an x to the third. That's the x to the minus 3 inverted, brought down. And then I've got the 2 to the minus 3, the x to the 15, and the y to the minus 3 down there as well. And I'll use this same technique then to take care of the 2 to the minus 3 and the y to the minus 3. 2 to the minus 3 means uh, 1 over 2 cubed. And since I'm dividing by 1 over the number, I can bring that number up to the numerator. So this will be a 4 times 2 to the third. And similarly with the y to the minus 3, this will be a y to the third in the numerator. And everything else, I'm just going to leave where it was for a moment, x cubed times x to the 15th. All right. Now I will uh, combine some like terms here. Let's take care of the denominator first. I've got three x's multiplied together and then 15 more x's multiplied together. So altogether I have 18 x's. That's using this result. x to the a times x to the b will be x to the sum of those two numbers. So I will end up with 18, which is 15 plus 3. Um, x's in the denominator multiplied.